Hi, and welcome back. I'm real excited to tell you about the new 2016 Verona Bunk. This coach has been a long time coming, and I think Renegade's done a fantastic job of getting feedback from customers and looking at the marketplace and seeing what's out there and making a coach that's just better than everything else out there. One thing I want to try to get across as we walk around this coach during this video tour is that there's other coaches out there that seem similar to this. There's other competitors out there, but I really want to encourage you to take the time to do a side-by-side -side comparison and make sure you're really comparing apples to apples. Here we're going to go ahead and run the slide out for you, and I really want you to notice how the paint lines all flow inside of the body sides and the slides. Also notice the thermal pane windows on it. They're a flush mount. They really add a lot to the aesthetics of the coach. This coach has all swing out baggage compartment doors. I've mentioned it before in other videos that we really like these as opposed to the ones that swing up. It makes it a lot easier to get in them and do your diagnostics. As we move into the front box here, this is where the battery and a lot of the electronics are housed for the coach. It's nice putting them in the front compartment. It helps keep the weight forward on the front axle. As you can see, everything's easy to get to and it's very accessible. Now as we move back into the next compartment, this is a 2000 watt Magnum inverter. And also notice that this is a pure sign inverter. There was really no expenses cut on this coach, and you really just kind of got to pay attention to that when you're comparing coaches. Here's a shot of the propane. Notice the expanded metal mesh there, so should there ever be a leak, the propane gases will go out through the bottom of the coach. Everything's very straightforward in this compartment. There's a gauge on it to see the fuel tank status, and there's also a gauge inside of the coach, an electronic gauge. Now we're gonna move back into the waste tank storage area. And in this compartment, I really wanna point out just how clean and organized Renegade has done it, the craftsmanship here in this box. You can see the cable operated gate valves. Them are all controlled in here in the water management box. You know, as I show these coaches to people, one of the things they really point out is how well built this area is. You know, everything that's gray is laser cut, aluminum. The first thing you'll notice is the water filter, and that's where the whole house water filter system is. So it's very easy. You just put the wrench on it, unscrew the base off of it, and exchange the filter out. It's very easy, very straightforward to do. The next thing I want to talk about is the black tank dump valve. And when you have your sewage hose hooked up, you just pull this black lever to drain the waste out. And then when you want to drain your gray tank, you just pull the gray tank dump valve. And then what you do is you'll hook a hose on the black tank wash there, and as water enters the coach, it's a sprinkler type system that'll sprinkle down and re-rinse the black tank. Also, you'll see the tank fill valve there. You'll screw a garden hose on, open that lever up, and then that'll fill the 150 gallon water tank inside the coach. Also notice there's a cable connection. That's if you're in an RV park where they have a cable hookup. You can run a coax cable from there to the park hookup and you'll have cable TV. Also want to point out the low point drain. When you open that up, it drains most of the water out of the coach for when you're winterizing. It gets most of the water out of the low point areas. And then to the left, there's a water spigot right there where you can have some pressurized water. You can screw on the spray away hose there if you'd like. Now we're gonna move back into the generator compartment. And this coach has the Cummins Onan quiet diesel generator, 8,000 watt. Renegade just did what was right and they put the right size generator in this coach. Actually, you'll have power to spare with this size generator, which was part of the plan. If you pull a stack or trailer with this coach, you'll be able to run electricity back to it. Now we're gonna move back into the last compartment and this is where the shore power cord is kept and Renegade installed a power reel back here. And this is a 50 amp cord and it just makes things a lot nicer when you have the power reel to just push a button and it winds the cord up. I also wanna point out in this compartment, there's an additional RV outlet there and you can actually run power 
to one of your friends' coaches and give them power, or you could run it back to your stack or trailer and have auxiliary AC voltage back there. Now we're gonna go ahead and move around to the back of the coach and talk about it for a minute. Up high, you can see three marker lights, and you can also get a shot of the rear view camera looking down. It'll help you with backing up and hooking up to a trailer. There's also two side bullet cameras on it mounted up towards the front fenders. Now we're gonna move down and talk about the tail lights. All Renegade Explorers in the Veronas and Classics, Renegade stay true to making the tail lights very easy to change. Now we're gonna move back to the trailer hitch. This coach has a 20,000 pound towing capacity on it. This hitch is a 20,000 pound rated hitch. It has a solid trailer ball. That's how they get the 20,000 pound rating out of it. Now we're gonna move over to the curb side or passenger side of the coach. And as you can see, all of the compartments on the curb side of the coach are all storage compartments. There's tons of storage there. Here we're gonna show you the outside entertainment center. Notice to the left, there's a 110 auxiliary outlet. Here we're gonna walk you around the TV. It has a LG LED TV. There's AM FM stereo, DVD player. It comes with remote controls. It's all very easy to operate. And what a great way to spend the evening sitting around the campfire watching TV outside of your coach. Here's another shot of the thermal pane windows, the flush mounted. I just really can't say enough about what I think they bring in quality and design elements to the coach. Now we're gonna move up to the entrance door of the coach. As you can see, it has key-coded entry, so it's really nice if you wanna leave your keys inside the coach, you can just come back and punch in a keyed entry and away you go. A lot of coach builders out there are using the light-duty steps, and Renegade uses the heavy-duty steps, so when you climb into the coach, there's no wiggling, it's not a bunch of cheap products. As you can see, there's fiberglass tank covers on the passenger side. There's a 50-gallon fuel tank on both the driver and passenger side. Now we're going to tilt the hood and talk about the power plan on this coach. All the Veronas are coming with the Cummins ISL9 8.9 liter engine. This engine has 8.9 liters. It's 350 horsepower, but where it really shines is in the torque rating. And this engine has a thousand foot pounds of torque. I think the engine weight on this is up around 1,850 pounds. You know, it's not enough just to power these things up and down the road. You gotta be able to slow them down and bring them to a safe stop. In fact, I know Renegade has done a perfect job of matching the ideal chassis to the ideal coach. You know, a lot of other coaches out there are running uh, 29,000 GVWR chassis, and yet they weigh 27,000 pounds empty, so there's only 2,000 pounds of capacity less. And that's why I really think it's important for you to become an informed buyer when you're looking at purchasing a coach of this caliber. I really hope you enjoyed this video tour of the Verona. Feel free to stop by and visit anytime.